All right, well, welcome back to the Wild Wormhole, where you never quite know what you're going to get. I'm D-House here with some more commentary on the True Survival uh, Tournament put on by KipTournaments.com. Uh, this weekend, there's 76 players, and uh, you bring three decks, and uh, you basically play until each deck has lost once, and then you're out of the tournament, and we'll get a true uh, survival winner tomorrow. Uh, but in this matchup, we've got Dave uh, Codero against... Uh, Let's see, what's his name? Giant Quarty. Uh, so Dave here is uh, playing one of the grossest decks, if not the grossest deck I have ever seen. Caruso, Chef, uh, De Ubut. Uh, Brob it has Brobnar, Dis, Logos. But all you need to know is five Eddie 4x4s. Five. Five of them. And as if that's not nasty enough, it also has in Logos the Zenzi leader to get more cards the neutron shark reassembling automaton so you can neutron shark kill the automaton and uh and it just keeps reassembling itself and you can just kill stuff and then in this you've got triple exhum so even if your eddies get killed you just bring them on back right uh or bring back the neutron shark and wipe a board or i don't know there's a lot of options here for dave um but let's see uh, what Giant QWERTY is playing with as well. Um, by the way, sorry, uh, they've already jumped into gameplay. I um, I couldn't quite get in there before they hit uh, before they started playing. So if you're confused, what's happening? Um, we'll, we'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, but Giant QWERTY's playing B M Roth Combate Dead Jill Automa. I don't even know why I try to pronounce these. Um, looks like a coder deck with this double arise gateway, which is solid, um, with some great disc creatures logos has the wild wormhole best card in the game. Obviously interdimensional graft. Um, you got some, you got mother in there, bat drone, some good creatures and then shadows, uh, got triple relentless whisper, uh, which could come into handy with nerve blast and pawn sacrifice and oubliette against those eddies. Uh, Ooh, it has the sting. Uh, so we'll see if that comes into play as well. So um, we are already in the game. Looks like he got Zenzi out quick uh, with triple Eddie 4x4. And it's like the second or third round. So uh, Dave is off to a quick start already. But uh, with uh, three in his archives with three Eddies means uh, keys are costing 15. Oh, down to nine. So he's able to pawn sacrifice to kill... Uh, two of the eddies and pull that Zenzi out from the center of the battle line to fight it out. So uh, Dave goes back to Logos with a larger hand. He plays out another Eddy because why not? Arc has a card. Zenzi reaps. Igor fights, which puts Zenzi at the center of the battle line and allows him to draw back up to hand size of eight, which is so strong. So Giant Cordy's keys cost. 14 right now, 14. Keep that in mind. Uh, so Shadows go ahead, goes ahead and fights Zenzi. Instead of fighting the uh, the Eddies, I think he's trying to kill. There we go. Okay, so a couple uh, Relentless Whispers to kill Zenzi. Kind of slow his hand size down. Um <coughs> Some people might choose to kill the Eddies there, but he definitely has a lot of uh, options. Now, he just exhumes and gets them back. And then he plays another exhum, looks like, and gets Eddie back. So he goes to Dis and still gets the crazy logos, guys. Plays a third exhum and gets a fourth Eddie back. Dear goodness, look at that board. Look at that board. His keys cost 30 now. He's got six in archives. His keys cost 30. Giant Cordy goes to Logos, plays Interdimensional Graft, Ganymede Archivist and Mother. Uh, gets up to 8 Amber, but it does not matter at this point. Uh, Eddie's all reap, looks like. Uh, Zenzi's going to fight the Archivist, play out Quantum Finger Trap, uh, plays out Daughter, and plays the re Reassembling Automaton. And keep Zenzi in the center. Look at that Logos line right there. Wow. Giant Cordy goes back to Dis. Plays out Schuler. Sealing one plays out Charette to capture. Trying to slow Dave down as best he can. 
uh, discards arise. I guess not anything uh, uh, in there. Uh, so he goes back to Logos. Why not? Can pretty much just reap out here. It looks like he's doing that. So, man, so Dave gets to draw. Oh, and here comes the Neutron Shark reassembling automaton combo. So, uh, so basically, he can just kill his own automaton and not have to worry about killing anything he needs. And look at this. He's he's getting rid of all the Brobnar cards and the Harbinger of Doom. The he's literally just getting rid of whatever he doesn't want to play. Look at that. Wow. Yep, Alaka. That's how you get around the world's collide Brobnar. You just discard all of it or archive it all with Eddie. So you never have to see it again. And he's got nine cards in hand. Current cost for forging a key is 46 ember. Poltergeist. Uh, he, uh, he uses it to kill the quantum finger trap and moves Zenzi out to the side. Dave says no because now he uh, he doesn't get the extra. At this point, Dave, I think you're okay. All right, so Dave's able to forge after Giant Quirty drops some disguise. And it looks like we're back to the... Reap, reap, reap. All right, so Neutron Shark. Uh, yeah, I mean, why not? Neutron Shark, he's got the reassembling automaton. So basically, man, that is pretty brutal. Since he has so many Logos cards out there, he he's, he's not really getting the Neutron Shark uh, cancellation by getting a Logos card because it's either archived or in his hand or on board. So he can pretty much do it as long as he wants to do it. Wow. I don't know if there's something uh, key, so he key hammers uh, so technically nobody is forged at this point um, true brew comes down um, and Dave forges again I don't I don't know if there's such thing as key forge perfection but if there is I think we're witnessing it people this is the grossest key forge I think I've ever seen I mean, what do you even... If you're Giant Quirty, you're sitting there, you're just digging for the gateway to Dis. But at this point, there's so many cards in his archives. You just imagine he's going to get it back. So Dave goes up to 24 Amber. Giant Quirty's Amber cost is still 46. We use his shark to kill the Chubaru. And there's the gateway to this. There you go. All right, so everyone's dead except the reassembling automaton. Uh, but Dave is already at 19 amber with two keys. Uh, yeah, you got to think. A giant Quirty says GG. That's it. Oh, wow. I'm going to need a minute after this one, people. <laughs> Uh, geez. Well, there you go. Five Eddies. I think it might be the only deck in the world with five Eddies. Um, triple Exhum, Reassembling Automaton, Neutron Shark. I I pray I never have to play against this deck, y'all. And I hope you do too. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you in the next one.